Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And today it's a special episode because we're big screen. <laughs> oh yeah, we're big screen. The reason why I'm big screen today is because I wanted to uh, tell you about these t-shirts. Sitting in the back and having a look. Yeah, you know, I always say that in every episode and to remind yourself to sit back and have a look, sitting back and having a look my logo is to get yourself one of these t-shirts and the uh any profits that i make will come back to making more episodes so it's a way of supporting the show so yeah check it out um there's a link in the description i won't plug it too much because i don't think you'll want me to try and sell these t-shirts which are amazing sitting back having a look t-shirts the best t-shirts ever ever they'll be on the fashion show in London and New York, Milan, <laughs> everyone will want them, celebrities will be wearing them and you know you don't want to miss out. <laughs> anyway, whoa, zoomed in a bit there, probably zoomed in a little too much, there we go. Is that right? Everything's moved, I have to move everything so Things might not be in the right places. Why didn't I do this before I pressed record, you ask? And I will say, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I'm all right now. So I have to make sure the camera doesn't get blocked by my shoulder. <laughs> right, here we go. After that excitement of my t-shirt that I designed, I designed, oh yeah. <laughs> So we've got this painting. This painting is one that I did in warm mixable oils. And a lot of you have been saying, well, I want to see it in acrylic. Why do you do all your paintings in warm mixable oils or oils? You know, I've got acrylics. So I want to be able to do the same. And I tried, didn't work. So prove it that you can do it. <laughs> so I thought I would try doing some of the paintings and do acrylic versions, basically. So I've got some yellow and some white and so I'm using the uh, what I call Galeria or Windsor Newton uh, acrylics, these ones and I'm using little drops of uh, fluid retarder to uh, retard the fluid <laughs> in the paint so they don't dry as quick because you put a little bit of that in it and let's have a go let's see what we can do uh start with some of the yellow cadmium yellow it's cadmium yellow medium hue interesting medium so we'll stick some of that we'll have our light source about there i think we'll put some of this yellow in there Quite nice, isn't it? Nice cadmium yellow glow. Let's get some white on our brush. Get some white on there. Lighten it up a bit. Because it was sort of about more like this sort of lightness, wasn't it? Something like this. So if we do it straight away, you can you can do that. Let's get some more of the yellow on the outside a bit. More yellow. more yellow that's it and then what i'm going to do just wipe my paint off my brush like that you see that yeah and then let's use a bit of paper a little bit of paper and then that where the two bits meet i'll just sort of blend that together so you can't really see a change in the color now let's get a bit of red red in with that and make an orange so you need more yellow than red. Don't put in tons of red into your yellow mixture because you'll struggle. Red is really strong, really strong. And if you put um, a blob of red into your yellow, it overpowers it. You don't want to do that. No, you don't. You don't want to do that. And I've done that before myself and I was in trouble, like I said 
because it just overpowers everything the uh, the uh, red does. So take it from me. So the area that I want to blend first is this yellow and orange now. So what I'll do is I'll wipe my brush again. I'm not cleaning it, just wiping it. And then with the almost clean brush, go into that area again and just do little crisscross strokes to try and blend, blend the colors together a bit. If you pick up any reds like that, and just blend it away, blend it away. And then I can use my soft brush, soft brush. It's just a, I think some people call them bunny brushes or blender brushes. Use one of those, start in the middle and then work out. Just softens everything. Get rid of most of the uh, The blend so you get a nice smooth transition yep nice and smooth we like it we like we want it to be smooth I might put a bit more white in there though let's get a bit more white because we've got a real light spot we want to make sure we've got that so it's about here light spot light spot some white in there okay now I use my soft brush I think Just wipe the excess paint onto your uh, bit of paper which I oh <laughs> I lost it mm. knock out most of the paint and then we can start on this bit and just soft brush it into a circle and your little hairs annoyingly loads of little hairs just came off the brush <laughs> just as I did it that's really annoying okay and then I want some more white in the middle and again with the uh, soft brush softly softly spinny spinny Just sitting back Just sitting back having a look quite like that I might get some on my finger a little bit of white on my finger go into this bit mm. and there's the hair there, that's annoying oh there's another hair softly softly again Get some more white on my finger again. Something like that. Softly, softly. I think that'll do. That gives us a light spot in the sky, doesn't it? And then we can use our uh, brush. Get some orange again. Some of the orange. And we can start filling this in here. Put a little bit more red in it as I come away, I think. Just 
set back, have a look. Red. In that corner. Just warm that corner up a bit. Okay. Here's my uh, soft brush again, just to go over that. Knock out anything that I don't like. It's a little bit harsh. There we go. And then uh, the other side as well. A little bit more of the yellow. Oops, just went into too much red then. <laughs> having a look at what I've got. Let's go for this corner here. Let's fill this in with a nice orange. Bit of red. Colour. I want to like start filling in here as well, down here, then the water. So we'll have the water line sort of there maybe. Or wherever it becomes. <laughs> Doesn't really matter actually. I'll just move this painting out of the way a second, otherwise I'll end up painting on it. <laughs> so just filling in the water, just get some of your orange. Just fill it in. If you feel like you want it to be redder, oh, oh, neck. Let's warm things up a bit. Then you can add more red if you don't want it to be quite so bright as that. Add more yellow. I need more yellow. Need more yellow. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like my t-shirt. It's a, I like wearing my own t-shirt, my own design t-shirt. Good fun. I was impressed at the quality of it as well. I was going to have a go at printing my own, but I think I would end up, uh, would end up costing me more. <laughs> uh. Okay, some more yellow. More yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to get my. Uh, Soft brush, soft, we go over that, get rid of all these brush strokes. Okay, just sit back, having a look. I like it, I like it a lot. Just wipe in this brush and put it in water. Oh, I've got paint on my thumb. A wet wipe. Just wipe. Wipe my thumb so it's nice and clean again. So what have we got? We need to do some hills and I used a bit of burnt sienna on my first hills originally. Ugh. Gotta try and open this. I might use the. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you know when you uh, when you have not used some acrylic paints for a while and the lids just 
views on. Ah, there we go. Needed a bit of painter's strength to open it. So we got some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Let's go into this yellowy colour. Let's get some of this burnt sienna. Let's have a look at it. A bit of red in, in it. Oh, it's all right. So there's a bit of red. Oops, it's too much white now. Yeah, that's better again. So what, red, yellow, burnt sienna and white, you get a nice brown. I think it's about right, yeah. And then we'll start putting in some hills. So I want some hills sort of that goes, I think I could go a bit redder. Some like hills that go along here. And then up here. Get a little bit more of the uh, sienna, the further away you go from the light, so we go a bit darker. Because you want to be able to see it. Okay. I'm going to try and put another layer in. This. And then over here it comes round. It's over there. Tappy 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 deep. Remember, go a bit darker, a bit more of the burnt sienna as you get to the darker area, just so you can see it. Okay, sitting back, having a look. <laughs> oh dear. I tell you, I'd be the worst, the worst salesman ever. <laughs> I think that's why uh, that's why I just enjoy painting. <laughs> I do do other work as well. Just I want to make painting my main job. People have asked me what do I do. I do a little mixture really of work. Whatever pays the bills. Whatever pays the bills. Okay. Okay, quite like that. I like those hills. We need to go darker though. So we need we need some burnt umber. It's time to bring in the big guns. Yes, yeah, some burnt umber. <laughs> Not sure why I did the funny voice. Just felt like a time that it could be done. <laughs> okay, so I'm burnt umber. Let's throw burnt umber in with the burnt sienna and, and a bit of red in this mixture I made over here. Better put in a little drop of uh, <coughs> fluid retarder. Blip, blip. Just to uh, keep my paint wet, just so it doesn't get dry all of a sudden. And then it'll make me cry because I've been in that position before. <laughs> so I've got some burnt umber in there now, and let's uh, let's put a, a hill here now. Tappy tappy tap, tappy tappy tap, tap tap. Nicely tapping in another hill here. So I'm always sitting back having a look to see if it is working, if it's dark enough. Okay. Because I find like, I'm going to put a bit more red in the colour by the way when I do this bit. I find if I don't sit back and have a look, and I used to not. Um, Suppose that's why I made the t-shirt to make myself do it more so I, 
I wear the t-shirt and then I think to myself, sit back, have a look, and it makes me do it. Yeah, when I didn't used to do that, and I would get quite close to the painting, and uh, I wouldn't like sit back and have a look, basically. And uh, and then when I did eventually come away from the picture, I'd be like, well, that looks a bit odd. Oh, why didn't I? Why didn't I have a look at this from a distance before I finished it? And then it would have been better. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't used to do that. And uh, <laughs> it's such a simple thing, isn't it? Just having a look from a distance, getting up, putting your paint in. What I used to do, I'd put it in the kitchen and then have a look at it under the natural light and, uh, and take a few paces back and look at it. Because it's amazing what you miss when you're close up. Right, it's going to go into some ivory black now. I've got some ivory black in with this brown. Ivory black and brown. I'm going to start putting in uh, a bit of a, a bit of foreground. Well, surely it's still background. But I want to put in some more detailed things, some like bushes and things. We'll go to about there, I think. This can be our area. So what I think I need to do as well is uh, wait for this to dry because it's not um, going to go on that well if it just mixes like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we'll do is if you've got a hairdryer could get your hair dryer out and dry it or or just go for a cup of tea wait for it to dry and then come back so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to start putting these darker areas in and then uh, we can go move on moving on move on to the next bit Okay, <laughs> so back in a little tick. Okay, we're back and uh, the painting's dried. And uh, now I'm gonna, gonna put some of the dark at the base, so it should go on a bit better, yeah. Let's get some paint. Let's get some black just to go along there. I need a bit more paint. More paint. Okay. So I want to create the uh, the horizon line, which goes along here. some little shapes, tree shapes. Okay. Go along. I just sort of glanced down at my uh, <laughs> audio recorder, I wasn't sure if I was recording audio, I've done that before. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting some dark, 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 all the way along here, there's our line, let's use that, there we go, fill that in there. So the difference I find when I use acrylics to oils, um, the oils, I mean, it depends on the brand, I think, as well. I have more covering power, it feels, 
um, where the acrylics are a little thinner but you can use mediums and things to thicken them up like I've done before I suppose if your brush is a bit wet then it can affect them as well so sit back have a look sitting back I want a uh, bigger tree up here I want quite a biggish tree there switch brushes I think I want to get some of this black and on this bit thicker Just thinking, thinking like a tree, thinking like a tree, how's this tree going to be? All these different ones, yeah, so now I need to straighten this off a little bit more. I think what I'll do is I'll use another brush. I want something soft. My uh, soft brush is in water, so <laughs> I won't use that. I'll use this one, it's quite a soft one. Just want to soften that. Maybe get a little bit of the. Yellowy orangey colour. more paint okay something like that things off a little bit. I could add like a little bit of land that comes out there just to change things a little bit. Be a bit experimental. And now I'm thinking I need to uh, start looking at the light source because we've got some light going shing so let's get a little bit of this light colour using this brush the light and so we've got light coming here Sit back, have a look, look at the light area, see if we're getting it right. As, as you get less paint on, you can uh, spread the light out a touch. Sit, always sitting back, having a look. Just like the t-shirt says, <laughs> always sitting back having a look, always sitting back having a look, okay. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna get some of the pure white for this bit. bit in there. Okay. Now, there's some like different colors in the water as well. So, sort of like a hint of browns. The water. Just don't even much color, just a little bit of orange. And there's a, let's sort of see how line it goes amongst this bit. <laughs> My tape just come off. fresh tape on because <laughs> it keeps falling out. <laughs> Let's put in some of these little boats, some little boats. So I want some of this dark, dark and uh, spin my bristles, spin my bristles and got these little back here like I think they must be fishing boats or something this original picture was based on uh, a photo that I had can have a bit more dark on it there that shows you how to do something similar in uh, acrylics something that uh, gets pretty much the same effect and I could <laughs> as always I don't like this bit so I'm gonna get rid of it as always I could spend ages on this painting, I'll create a little bit of a, a cove there instead. Yeah, I could spend ages on this, going for ages, <laughs> doing little 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 bits to it to improve it. 
what I really wanted to do is just show you that's possible to create a similar effect. <laughs> Funny looking boat. Maybe there's two boats there. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I think that'll do for today. And uh, I'm not doing a show it quite well actually. Show you what you could do with a little bit of time. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this one, my special episode. And uh, if you want to uh, support the channel, check out Patreon or check out my link in the description for this t-shirt. Yep, sitting back, having a look. Something I always do when I'm painting. And uh, Or you can go to my Facebook and uh, send me a message if you've got a question or, or a request. Or maybe if you've got any painting requests, put a uh, comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And please like, share my videos, and enjoy them. And do a painting, because <laughs> you can. No problem. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.